Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito met with Hopkinton town officials to finalize a community compact agreement with the town. The agreement was put in place by the Baker Polito administration and more than half of the communities in the Commonwealth have applied to become a compact community. The document we're going to sign today is designed to, to help the town get resources to address two important elements. The first is um, a community-sponsored agriculture initiative. As everyone in town knows, we bought the Pratt Farm earlier this year, actually late last year, I think of that. And, um, and one of the uses we hope to have on it is, is agriculture to fulfill one of the goals of the community, which has always been to have a community-sponsored agriculture of the town. The agreement will also allow the town to apply for various state grants. That uh, the communities that are participating in the compact which Hopkinton is now one of them, can now compete for an information and technology grants. Uh, so we will offer up to $400,000 in grants for an IT project in your community. So if you can think of a way to use technology to solve some of your local problems, you have some oh, ideas. Got some ideas on that. You should apply. Uh, so the idea of this program is to incentivize you know, good decision making and by being a compact community you will now get bonus points for the larger statewide grants that are available from MassWorks, which is the infrastructure grant program, to parks, to complete streets. Uh, you have, you know, put yourself on uh, the list at a little higher place uh, to be considered for some of those funds. So good for you, really strong leadership here. I sense a lot of energy and commitment and more importantly forward thinking, you know, where Hopkinton uh, needs and wants to be, and we're very happy to be here today to support uh, your efforts and to help you achieve this success. So, are we ready to sign? Uh, I said this in the last one. January 26th is an anniversary date here in our Commonwealth because it was one year ago that Snowmageddon began. <laughs> we had over 26 inches, 30 inches in some places in our Commonwealth a year ago today, and I'm really happy that uh, today is a nice, bright, clear day for all of us. <laughs> I'm very happy uh, to be here in the town of Hopkinton with our local leaders uh, to form a community compact. That means we're really emphasizing the relationship between state government and our municipalities. And today, Hopkinton has come forward to sign the compact and to focus on uh, both an agricultural initiative on Pratt Farm, as well as understanding the future economy here in Hopkinton and how they can really partner with private business to strengthen the jobs and the economy here. So two great best practices that Hopkinton has chosen and the state is as a partner funding and helping them achieve over the next two years. All right. Now that it's signed, what will be the next step? Well, the next step is for our st uh, state officials to work directly, and I think they've already started, uh, to work directly with the town officials here to make sure that we have provided the funding and the course of action and put the team in place so that these best practices are achieved, and they have up to two years to complete the best practice. So they'll have a commitment in terms of resources, funding, as well as the technical expertise of our administration to help the town of Hopkinton uh, put these practices into place.